Here's DeLon Wright, and it has taken away Davis behind the back. Being famous does come with a lot of perks, and one such is being the center of attention. However, with this fame does come a high level of scrutiny, especially from the media. Literally, the world's spotlight is on you, keeping tabs, watching your every move, and reporting even the tiniest detail of your life. Today, we're going to be looking at secrets about Anthony Davis that you never knew about. This video tells stories of his childhood, love life, and a few other rumors and gossip. Finally, you can find out something about the discreet NBA star. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, as well as turn on post notifications so you never miss another update from us. Born Anthony Marshawn Davis Jr., he is an NBA professional basketball player who plays for the Los Angeles Lakers. He's also known as AD, or his nickname, The Brow. Fans and sports critics alike have had limited understanding of the personal life of Anthony Davis, which is quite unusual with many celebrities. However, Anthony Davis has managed to lead a discreet life away from the media. The successful NBA star who received numerous honors and won numerous awards, had began his basketball career in high school for Perspectives Charter School, where he's schooled since sixth grade. Perspectives Charter School is an outstanding academic reputation, known for its math and science prowess. However, it recorded limited academic success. Despite the limitations of his high school, Anthony Davis would train with the school's basketball team and be known as the little guy who could hit three-pointers, because of his sturdy height and his near-perfect three-point throws from the corners. It was reported by a former classmate that Anthony Davis his two sisters, Leisha and Antoinette Davis, had assisted him with assignments and projects while he chased his basketball dreams. After his sophomore year, Anthony Davis experienced an amazing growth spurt. The little guy was no longer little, reaching a height of 6 feet 4 inches as opposed to 6 feet in the previous year. Davis was bossing it on the courts and soon began to gain recognition from other schools. Soon, his family opted to transfer him to a school with better sporting facilities, but refrained after advice from academic coach Donnie Kirksley against such a move. Davis then continued playing for Perspectives Charter School to the end of the season. However, the next phase of young Anthony Davis's career had came under strict scrutiny from the media. Davis's continual performance on the courts had quickly gained recognition following his spells in the Nike Global Challenge, Toss Streets, Mean Streets, and Chicago Public League. This brought various scholarship offers from Syracuse, Ohio State, and even DePaul. In a sudden twist of events, Anthony Davis verbally agreed to the offer from the University of Kentucky. This had sparked a lot of criticism from the media, with the Chicago Sun-Times reporting that his father had received a sum of $200,000 in exchange for his son's commitment to the team. The report was, however, modified and reported by Chicago Times reporter Michael O'Brien, stating that reports about Anthony Davis choosing the University of Kentucky for a sum was actually unconfirmed rumors. Following a threat from the University of Kentucky's lawyer, the statement was then taken from the Sun-Times website. However, a few days later, the reporter had resurfaced on the Times Sun website, where it was reported that Anthony Davis's commitment was bought for a price ranging from $130,000 to $200,000. The media firm received threats from the university and the Davis family. However, no lawsuit was actually filed. But this wasn't the last of such events. Anthony Davis ended up playing for the Kentucky Wildcats, leading them to its eighth NCAA championship alongside a Player of the Year award and an ESPN 10-man preseason team call-up. In 2012, Davis had signed a deal worth $16 million with the New Orleans Pelicans. He was, however, sidelined following a concussion. Anthony Davis was not about to let his chance slip and in 2013, he had returned and took the NBA by storm, making the Rookie Team of the Year and getting nominated for various awards, like the NBA Player of the Week and Western Conference Player of the Week. In the 2014-2015 season, Davis dominated for the Pelicans right from the opening game against the Orlando Magic with a stellar performance, which is regarded as one of the best performances of all time. Anthony Davis did indeed set the pace for this new team, although winning no major awards, he did lead the team to the playoffs, joining the likes of Akeem Lajuan, Karl Malone, and Shaquille O'Neal as the only NBA players in the past 20 years to reach an average of 30 points in the playoffs. Davis continued to achieve great strides with the Pelicans up until 2018, where in the middle of the season, Davis handed a transfer request to the Pelicans, informing the team that he would not be signing a contract extension. His agent Rich Paul said in an interview with ESPN that his client was rejecting the $240 million five-year deal and had wanted to be traded to a team that allowed him the chance to win consistently and compete for a championship. A day later, the NBA investigated the situation and fined Anthony Davis for going public with his trade request. Now, things did get messy and there was a lot of scampering in the 
NBA as teams did their best to sign him before the February 7th transfer deadline. In a media appearance, Davis confirmed that he did have a list of teams that he preferred, which had included the Lakers, Bucks, Knicks, and even the Clippers. He later went on to say that all other NBA teams were on his list. This event was disastrous for the Pelicans as they were disorganized and without their star man. Unfortunately, they did end up missing the playoffs. Nevertheless, no transfer had actually happened, and Anthony Davis actually remained with the Pelicans team and was included in the game, as the New Orleans Pelicans would end up facing a fine if they did let him out. Davis remained with the team, frequently in and out of lineups. He attended the Pelicans' final home game wearing a shirt that read, That's all, folks. When questioned as to why he wore the shirt, he claimed he didn't pick his clothes. The Pelicans finally finally agreed to trade Davis to the Lakers on July 6, 2019 in exchange for Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, and three first-round picks. Although the New Orleans Pelicans lined up a great deal that would end up seeing him take home a large sum of pay, Anthony Davis rejected it on the grounds that it was not about money. He wanted to be happy and leave a legacy for himself. In the Los Angeles Lakers, Anthony Davis was finally in the place of his dreams. He teamed up with LeBron James and won the championship in the 2019-2020 season. He also got to be featured in a Super Bowl commercial alongside Michelob Ultra, Serena Williams, and other famous celebrities. Davis became one of the most important players for the Lakers, becoming the first Laker to turn out a 20 rebound and 40 point feat ever since Shaquille O'Neal, plus he even did it in a record time of 30 minutes. Aside from winning the NBA championship, Davis has also gone on to win the FIBA World Cup gold medal, Olympic gold medal, NCAA title, and an NBA title, making him the first player to knock off all those on his list. However, injuries were a major concern for the athlete, because even though he's the size of a beast, he is as fragile as glass. His career timeline is filled with recurring injuries, ranging from calves to Achilles, knees, quads, toes, adductors, you name it. Anthony Davis has suffered a long list of injuries. However, he's also returned from every single one of them without a dip in his form, focusing on his game and still turning out amazing performances anytime that he hits the court. In 2020, Anthony Davis was back in contract talks, opting out of the final two years of his contract with the Lakers to be a free agent. His agent, Rich Paul, had announced that he would be rejecting the four-year deal of the $146 million and would instead opt for free agency, which could see Davis earn a $202 million contract in the summer. Summer. However, following Anthony Davis's dominance on the courts, it didn't take long for Rich Paul, who's the agent for both Laurent James and Anthony Davis, to negotiate a deal to have both players remain with the Lakers for two and five years respectively. Anthony Davis's personal life has been kept from the public, and despite being famous, he's managed to be able to keep a lid on his romantic life and away from the media. Not only that, he rarely speaks openly about his affairs or relationships. However, there have been rumors and reported stories of Anthony Davis and his love life. It was reported in 2015 that he dated Brittany Griner, a female basketball player who had previously been divorced from Glory Johnson. They were in love, and Davis would talk about how they had a lot in common. However, the relationship did not last, as Brittany Griner went on to date Sherelle Watson. Nevertheless, that was not the end of love for the brow, as he is popularly called. Anthony Davis is presently engaged in a romantic relationship with Marlon, a woman who he dated shortly after his breakup with Brittany Griner. Rumor has it that the couple had secretly already tied the knot. However, this rumor was complicated by reports that Anthony Davis had not been faithful to Marlon. Nevertheless, neither of them made any public comments about the rumor and continued the relationship away from the spotlight. In late 2017, pictures of their child Nala had surfaced on the internet during the child's baby shower, and both couples are particularly discreet and have done well to be able to keep their lives off social media and the news. Not much else is known about Anthony Davis's lover Marlon and not even her surname, although she does own a private Instagram account and it is believed that she is a woman of faith and of Dominican descent. It is reported that the couple lives in a $14 million rented apartment near Staples in Bel Air. The home is said to include a gym, pool, and a basketball court. There is no news of the couple being married. However, it cannot entirely be ruled out considering how private Anthony Davis is about his life. Finally, the NBA superstar also has a secret philanthropic nature. He has reportedly gave $65,000 to Perspectives Charter School, his alma mater, for building a basketball court to help foster sporting activities within the school. This was something that he lacked during his time there, and he also frequently provides meals to families in need and is involved in various community projects. We hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this, as well as ding in that notification bell so you never miss another update from us. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.